Starbirds Audio. Thank you for listening to the Starburns Audio Podcast Network. We have so many great comedy shows to add to your playlist. Just last week on Starburns Audio, on Profiles and Eccentricity, we discovered the tale of Juan Pajol Garcia, a double agent who duped the Nazis with 27 fake spies he created, all reporting a mixture of truth and lies. On New Player Has Joined, Keith and Jesse discuss Grand Theft Auto V and continue to release daily updates from quarantine. On Y'all Ever, Dave Ross and Hampton Yunt discuss the temptations of dating and breaking quarantine. Search Starburns Audio on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or any podcast platform for a full list of our shows with hosts including Quinta Brunson, Jackie Johnson, and many others. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Starburns Audio. Enjoy the show. And remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep laughing. Hey, it's White Boy Chris. If the Pat Down's ever made you laugh, then join our Patreon and support us. Get bonus content, a t-shirt, or an autographed copy of Rabbit, Miss Pat's autobiography. Visit misspatcomedy.com for the link to the Patreon, and while you're there, join our Facebook group. Welcome to another episode of the Pat Down. These motherfuckers crazy, y'all. Y'all don't know what to say about y'all. Y'all don't whip my panty line and fuck around (laughs) with the episode. What fuck we talking about, Dion and Chris? My booty hole. Oh, shit. Talked about the pearly gates that are... My butt. <laughs> we talked about that oh. woman getting her ass beat. Yeah, the Elvis. Woman, no, the beavers and butthead. That woman beat that bitch into two niggas. But, uh, and we, we found out Jordan don't like birds. <laughs> oh yeah, we found out my writer don't like birds. He just turned super. We be back after listen to the music. We will be right back. You better get up, get out, and tune into this podcast. This spit the truth, spit the real fact. Nothing but the ugly, classy at the same time. Pat got the flavor, these are not the same lines. That's the politics, she been on the real grind. It could be pretty but ugly at the same time. Just tune in, put your lock on the spin down. Ain't no need for the wait and turn her up now. What you talking about? Is it real though? And cut the game, you get no play like Nintendo. You wait the time, turn it up, nothing but the ugly. Straight off the top, everything she say, you know it's funny. Full blast, this is taste of the future. Listen on your iPhone or your desktop computer. Share it, tweet it, ain't no way to beat it. Nothing but the ugly, turn it up and go repeat it. We were in Baltimore over the weekend. Oh, yeah, we was in Baltimore over the weekend. Oh, great crowds. Great crowd. Baltimore, yeah, thank y'all for coming out. Y'all showed the fuck out. I but think this is the first city that didn't ask for Chris. <laughs> it might have been. It was too black. But and that's I, the city I know the most about because I watch The Wire, so I'm an expert. <laughs> I, was to, I was told by a, a fan on Instagram, he goes, if you come here, don't mention The Wire. You especially. <laughs> 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 Why you was shit? But anyway, I just want to give a shout out to the motherfucker who stole my Gucci glasses. What you? They so I was taking pictures with people, and I try to be nice. I always come out and take pictures. Oh, people are like, "Why do you sell your own merch?" Like, it ain't even about the merch. Like, I want to take pictures and be hanging out with the people. Yeah. Whoever stole my prescription expensive Gucci glasses, I want to tell you, you are a motherfucker. You a dirty motherfucker who stole my goddamn glasses. How do you know they were stolen? Did you like they was gone, nigga? <laughs> yeah, but like you, you're like somebody stole my glasses and they were in the couch here. No, they ain't in no couch. I had them on when I got off stage because all of my glasses are prescription. Okay, so I get off the stage, I go and I put my glasses down by the t-shirt to take pictures, and somebody literally picked up my motherfucking glasses and stole them. That's some. Can you bullshit. please return my glasses because they're prescription, and I spent a lot of money for my glasses, and I am not rich. I cannot go and replace those glasses, bitch. Don't those glasses are very expensive. I got those glasses of the clearance rack at Nordstrom. I need my fucking glasses back. <laughs> are they the like the large orange ones? Yes. Yeah, those are really nice. Hello. Why are you hanging up on me like that? I was scared. Why are you hanging up on me? You was too gay, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared. Nigga, well, how are you scared of birds? You should have seen it. It couldn't lift his head. So the big ass pigeon that couldn't lift his head, it couldn't even fly. It was just, it was just walking by me in the grocery store. Well, he probably just turned a trick and somebody wore him out. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness! You not scared of birds? No, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared of niggas with guns and white people with fucking guns. That's I'm scared of crazy people. 
crazy ass bird. They'll poke your eyes out. That, not the nigga with his head down. High <laughs> bird with his head down gonna poke your eyes out, Jordan. <laughs> I don't know. He can't even get his beak up to poke your eyes out. <clears throat> Stop watching so many motherfucking scary movies. Oh my goodness, they scared me. Everything scare you, Jordan. No, just pigeons. I could deal with. I'd rather deal with the clan than the pigeon. The clan. The clan over what? pigeons. Yeah. Well, damn. All right. <laughs> you got the shit you scared of. I've never seen a pigeon with a shotgun, Jordan. Well, we never see. He said he never seen a pigeon with a shotgun. Well, how can you stand I up to racism know. but they not birds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dion said, "How can you stand up to racism and not bird, nigga?" Because birds is magical. They fly. So do niggas when you they put break. bullets in them and they fly backwards. <laughs> <laughs> a shotgun is magical. You ain't never seen a nigga get thrown 30 feet when he gets shot. Uh, uh, I didn't look the clan in their face. Yeah, they scared me. Yeah, they you done licked the clan in the face? I bet he has. <laughs> no, I, I didn't look at him in the face. How you know was he clean? How, how did you know he was clean? Because they had on their hoods. We was in a restaurant, and they had a back room, and it was me, my dad, and my mama. And we, we was we was sat down to eat, and then we looked over, and in the back room, there was a, there was a clan meeting. What restaurant was this? He didn't do from Texas. Denny's. So, di- <laughs> <laughs> so did y'all leave, or you ordered? No, my dad made us get up and leave. My mama wanted to stay. <laughs> <laughs> Your mama's a goddamn fool. That that was the key right there. You about to eat a shit sandwich. Sit on down, Negroes. You trying to get that racist grand slam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you racist said, with this pussy. Dia <laughs> said she trying to get that racist grand slam. <laughs> Number white egg yolks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we podcast. We going to eat the bird ass, and I'll see you later. All right, bye. Bye. Have you guys heard the theory that birds were all killed in 1979 by the federal government and that all birds are fake? They're just CIA plants listening to everything that we say, and they recharge themselves by sitting on wires? No. Nigga, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, it's like the flat earth thing. In two years, this is going to be, there's going to be a 20% of the population that'll believe that shit. Nigga, I hit a bird. I know they ain't machines. Yeah. <laughs> that, there was fucking feathers everywhere. And blood. Poor, so so do, are they filling them with blood and, and batteries? I, they're they're I, very sophisticated technology, Miss Pat. Since the, so yeah, fuck And they sit on poles to charge their asses That's up. right. And what we do when we see them eating worms? They just fake it, they're actors? Yeah, it's all computer programming. It's computer programming. Mm-hmm. When I see a bird digging in a fucking dick, feeding his child, and then when you go to take... So, so he, I got computerized bird shit on my car, is what right. you're telling me? That's right. So we got iRobot birds. That's right. <laughs> I need somebody to hack the motherfuckers to get that shit. Well, uh, birds, I need y'all need to come around here and Uber for us. <laughs> <laughs> go to the store and shit for us and keep kids for us. Did you kids. see that video I sent you of that woman choking <laughs> the shit out that fucking pigeon or that goose? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she snatched that motherfucking goose <laughs> by the neck. It was it was in her yard, I guess, and she was tired of that goose being in her yard. So she just grabs it and takes it like 10 feet to the right and just Good. lets the bird go. But he was ready to fight her ass, so he <laughs> opened his wings like, come on, bitch, come on. That lady's like, no, not today, nigga. I'm sick of fucking with you. She grabbed that motherfucker by the neck, and she was wringing that neck like a turkey neck and threw that motherfucker over there on the other side. Canadian geese are the worst fucking I hate. I have an they're irrational hate of them. I live in an apartment right and, and out on my balcony. They're just always out there honking all the time, uh-huh. and I take a slingshot and I shoot them. Which is well, you should say that on the podcast. I don't give a fuck. Come get me. <laughs> yeah, I'll be a goddamn hero in this country if I go down for shooting a Canadian goose. Thank God he white. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that shit, Dion. I don't fucking I don't fuck with goose. I don't fuck with him either. I was. I told a story the time I had to use the bathroom. <laughs> And I was going, I was, uh, when I lived in an apartment here, and uh, I had to use the bathroom so fucking bad, and I was out fucking around at the store. So I'm running home, and then this Canadian geese come across the street with fucking 12 babies, like a little Mexican family. <laughs> and, and the baby was like two steps. Yeah. And I'm like, move, bird. So I get out the car and throw something at them. And the motherfucking lady, like, I'm writing your tag. Like, I don't give a fuck, bitch. I gotta pee. Fuck them ducks. <laughs> 
<laughs> they really are just total menaces. Oh, yeah, they'll fight you. They'll fight this shit out. You seen the man who got locked up that time for fighting that geese? So if that geese beat his baby up. Yeah. And he went out there and uppercut shit out that geese. I paid. And, he had a GoFundMe to get him out of jail. I, I supported it. You did? Oh, I sure did. Wait, they locked the nigga up because he... He uppercut the shit out of that geese. The geese beat his motherfucking baby up. <laughs> so it's a federally protected bird. So the yeah, federal government, they protected it. So you can go to jail if you kill one. But that's what's caused the overpopulation. And that's why they're just all over the There's place. Way too Don't many. nobody eat them? That's, no, they're nasty. They're gross. How you know? You don't. They're just like full of disease, apparently. Mm. And grass. That's all they eat is grass. Green turds every yeah. fucking where you go. Ugh. Did you see the lady, the two ladies who were boxing? And when she finished, your head would... Uh, so, see, this is what... People always talk shit. You should never talk shit. Was she talking shit? She was talking mad shit. That, no, that Chinese was. lady beat her ass. She was talking about the coronavirus on her uh, Instagram. Mm. She Somebody made a meme, and she posted it on her Instagram. And then the Chinese girl was like, you know what? That's not funny. You shouldn't talk like that, because you're going to have to see me. <laughs> And then she saw her, and she swore that bitch up. <laughs> <laughs> she looked like the little thimble from Monopoly after no, she saw, got tough. No, she looked like beavers and buddies. <laughs> I saw. I, I saw. It was like I thought it was a meme. That's no, a real she, she looked. That's a. That's what she looked like after that fight. Man, they she said that was like one of the best fights of all time. Head. That I was. Like, I can't pronounce bit, either one of their names. That bitch beat the man out of her. If, if she was a man, she beat it. That she's turned. She started to look like a real. She nipple. swole that lady's forehead up so bad. I mean, it wasn't even oh, right. It man. looked like a bridge. Let me see that. Look like a. It looks like a. She already was character. not that cute. And when she, how you? It looked like she. It, her, the bitch hair got longer. That's how much she beat her upside down. Try to say her Zhang versus. Oh, that's who beat her up. Yeah, the Chinese girl beat her up. Beat that bitch to the white. I lady. have no idea how you say the other girl's name. She, I, they shouldn't let this lady go to sleep for two years. It was a <laughs> it was a UFC fight, so you could probably look it up and Google. They it. should not let this lady go. Nobody who bumped their head like this should be allowed to go to sleep. This I mean, it's dangerous. Joanna Jezerjic. So, oh, that, so she's trying to be funny with the face mask. Thing. I don't think she made the meme. Zang. I think she just reposted it. Z H A N G Zhang. Yeah, I know yeah. Zhang versus but I don't, Joanna. Was the woman whose head looked like it got smacked with eighteen hammers? Goodness gracious, it's bad. But there's, I mean, there's. Do a you lot remember of- that um, Aliens movie, The White Alien? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what she looks like. Looks like a cartoon character, but I can't think of the cartoon. No, she looked like Beavis and Butthead. Yeah. She, and she looked like okay, she was a girl, but she beat the man out that bitch. Man, she she turned into she a straight man with that motherfucker. Battered. Her head looked like a hammerhead shark. <laughs> It they shouldn't let these ladies go to sleep. So I'm serious. We'll post, we'll post a picture of what we're talking about in the Pat Down group. So the meme is... Her braids even got thicker on her head. <laughs> her braids got She swole her braids? <laughs> yeah. Look at the braids on this bitch head. They thicker than when they first started well, yeah, that's out. That's what happens when your whole head swells. Jesus. Her forehead looked like a heel. You know what? <laughs> I bet she had no idea that she had an elevator in her head. Yeah. <laughs> That motherfucker went woo. Look, is that Joe Rogan asking her questions? Yeah. Have you ever seen Elephant Man? Look at this. You, <laughs> let me see that. Yeah, that Joe Rogan. Where? Yeah. Yeah, that we Joe Rogan. Need to, need to, he need to slap and make sure she awake. Has she ever? Has he ever seen anything like that before? That is. That lady got battered. I, I mean, ain't seen no highlights of the fight other than the after picture, and I. Whew. You don't need no highlights, nigga. Her head is highlighted. <laughs> all she needs is a stroll light going across her forehead to say, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like Times Square. Had a billboard <laughs> on her forehead. Yeah, so she said on Instagram, Zhang Whale MMA, to make fun of tragedy is a true sign of one's character. People are dying. Someone's father, someone's mother, someone's child. Say what you want about me if it makes you feel stronger, but do not joke about what's happening here in China. I wish you good health until March 7th. I will see you soon. And she sure did. And she beat the she brakes beat off her. She beat that bitch to the white me. I remember my favorite song used to be like, hit that bitch with a bottle. Don't start her. Don't. You know that song? <laughs> no. You don't know that song? No, no, sing more of it. Maybe we'll get it. I don't, I don't hey, know. Hey, Siri, it. what song is Miss Pat singing? Hit that bitch with a bottle. Don't start her.
Yeah, that's not it, Siri. No, that's You're not a fucking Siri. idiot. You're a fucking idiot. Yeah, it's Siri's fault. <laughs> <laughs> she just called her a fucking idiot. <laughs> Computer idiot. We can't play it. We can't play it on here, can we? Probably not. Probably not, but hey, who's going to stop us? Would they take our podcast down? Yeah. Nah, they'd send us a cease and desist We'll letter. just edit that part out. Yeah. Oh, as I was saying about Baltimore, please return my shades. You can mail them to Dion, and I can give you his address. No, you cannot. Yeah, yeah let's just <laughs> <laughs> mail them to Helium Comedy Club. I have a PO box if you want to use that. That just put that out there. That is so fucking wrong that you guys stole my shades. I work really hard for you guys. This is the second time it's happened too, right? Yeah, they stole my shades in Chicago. That's fucked at up. At fucking Starbucks, and you you would think everybody in Starbucks was Christian. See, that's the thing. I've noticed, like I've seen people post on Facebook that they've had their phones stolen, their laptops stolen out of Starbucks. Like, I don't think it's a place you should go to hang out. Like, mm-hmm. get your coffee, go through the drive through, get the fuck. I on. don't leave my shit just sitting there well, to go to the bathroom. There's yeah. people that are just waiting to steal, and I fucking cannot stand thieves. If you want to send the glasses back. If you want to send a note of apology, that'd be nice. But if you want to send them, it's P.O. Box 17603, Indianapolis, Indiana, 46217. You're about to get a bunch of anthrax in your goddamn P.O. Box. It's a P.O. Box. That's there was multi, the Southport branch. There problem. was multicolors, <laughs> multicolor Gucci shades with, Gucci. The big, with the big G on the side. And there was prescription. Please send me my shades back. I forgive you. You ain't got to tell me shit. I can't see without my glasses. Everything is prescription. I can't afford another pair. Please, I'm asking you to let my shades go. <laughs> let my shades go? Look at what are they, the pharaoh? <laughs> <laughs> Shooting bug back there is laughing. <laughs> let my shades go. Y'all shouldn't do this to nobody. I am poor. I need my glasses. I need my glasses. Well, it's, at least you didn't get fired like that gay dude. Who was working with Jimmy Walker? What gay dude? You what? didn't see that video I sent you? Oh yeah, Samson. Samson. Oh, oh yeah, he said uh, Jimmy Walker fired him. Fired him. Really? For being gay. For being gay. That's a shame. He cut, probably Jimmy Walker walked actionable. into the green room. Was like, he's like, hi, I'm Samson. I'm gonna be your MC. And he's like, uh huh. And they walked out. Ten minutes later, they wrote him a check. Was like, we ain't gonna need your services tonight. What? Yeah. That's fucked up. Just because he was gay. And then Jimmy Walker went on stage and was doing gay jokes. Talking about, I think he said, Ellen needs a dick, so why don't you take it out of that guy's ass and put it in her mouth or something like that. Dude, Fucking. Are, are people not aware that it, we don't do that sort of thing anymore? Well, first of what, all, what who's going to see J.J. Walker? Right. Hey, he even get a nice audience now. He don't, don't why? He's to, never been funny. Well, to you maybe, but to his fans, he's funny. Some people like his ass. Some people really like him. Who? Ann Coulter? People who like dynamite. And I heard you have to pay him $1,500 extra or a couple thousand dollars extra just for him to say dynamite <laughs> each time. That's our Nigga, good. I would light a firecracker before I pay you <laughs> to say dynamite. It's the same motherfucking mm. outcome. We need to get you a catchphrase then. That you can uh-uh. I don't do catchphrases. Pop Seropsy. <laughs> Pop Seropsy, yeah. Suspectious. Yes, yeah, suspectious. Alex- Crust Alex- feet. Alexandria O'Connor. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many to choose from. <laughs> yeah. I don't need no catchphrase. Because when you do the catchphrase. Mongolar. By- yeah. Mo- catchphrase. <laughs> when you do catchphrases behind that bullshit, ain't nothing. So I don't know. I'm just be funny, y'all. But bring my motherfucking shades back. Let my shades go. I'm serious. I'm hurt. I can't see Chris over here looking out buying over to me because y'all took my motherfucking glasses. <laughs> she called me Junebug earlier. That's how bad it is. Yes, I need my fucking glasses. The Baltimore was really, really fucking good. You had great crowds. Lines out the door. Yeah. I'm looking forward to coming to Atlanta. It's finally got a date, y'all, 1119. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. I might even throw together a podcast. Um, and it's, it's not a big venue. Like 300 and some seats, so don't wait around. Get your ticket. There have been people have been inboxing me. How do we get tickets to this? How do we it get tickets to that? that? This Friday. Well, and, and I go, look, Ms. I have no idea. You have to call the venue, ask those people. Whenever you see a date posted in the in the group, guys, call the venue. I, I don't know how to get you tickets. MissPatComedy.com is where you find the dates, and I link every one of those there. She has all the dates up there. You call the venue. And if it's Do not you know, on there, if it's if you go to their website, uh oh, 
Who Cor- is it? It's the Cor- UPS man. Coronavirus? I'm with a dope form deal. He, 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 pu- he dropped the package off. He walked back to his truck. He's a little black dude. Oh, I like him. <laughs> yeah. Is he here for Gariana? I wish. <laughs> she make a meme. <laughs> meme macaroni and cheese. Got a package for her. But, um, so, yeah. yeah, call the venue. And if it's not. If you want me to, you want us to come to your town. Yes, call the venue. We, that, we should also say that we're, can we mention Nashville? Yeah. Yeah, Nashville, that particular podcast date got canceled because of the tornado. So we're sorry that we can't make that. But me and Dion is coming to perform. And they said if we wanted to do a podcast, um, because we could do a podcast. Okay. I'm working it out. We might do a little podcast according to high sales. And then. um, Did they give you any information, excuse me, on people who got tickets, how they get their money back or anything? Because I I had a few people hit me up. I'm sure they'll get refunds. Yeah, they get yeah. refunds, and then they'll Unless probably ask you who they joiner. want. <laughs> 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 I'm so pissed off. Don't start that Tom Jonah shit again, okay? All right, beat my ass during the break. Yeah. Oh, we got to take a break? Mm-hmm. Oh, we sure do, and I need to rearrange my wig. It itching. With all the crazy shit going on in the world today, we can all agree on one thing. We all need better help. You heard what I said. Better H-E-L-P. We could all use it. Let me ask you something. Other than this virus that's keeping us all quarantined and making us lose our damn mind, is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? You know, like a significant other, a partner, kids, mother in laws I don't know what's stopping you from being all that you can be, but I'm here to get you some help so you can be all you can be. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating with somebody within 24 hours, baby. And let me just say this. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It's a professional counseling done secretly online. So it's nobody damn business who you talk to. There's a broad range of experts available, which may not be available in many areas. The service is available for clients worldwide. No matter where you at, you can pick up the phone and call BetterHelp and you can have your own professional therapist. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your counselor. Anytime. And you get timely and thoughtful response. Plus, you can schedule your weekly videos or your weekly phone section so you don't have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting area the old way, like the traditional therapist's office. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change counselor if needed. So if you don't like the person you're talking to, you're like, bye, bitch. I got to get somebody else. You're not for me. And I've been in that situation before where I had to deal with people that wasn't for me. And I tell them, baby, your spirit ain't right. So I need to get a spirit that's right. And better help will allow you to search for that spirit that matches your spirit so you can get better help, baby. Can I just say this, guy? It is way more affordable than traditional office counselor. And financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Yes, while you in quarantine, BetterHelp wants you to live a better life today. Visit B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Pat Desk BetterHelp and join the 800,000 people talking about changes of their mental health with the help of experienced professionals. Special offer for my podcast for the Pat Now listeners right now. That my listeners get ten percent off your first month at BetterHelp dot com slash Pat. That's B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash P A T, and you get ten percent. Start changing your life today and get better help with the Pat Down Podcast. You can thank me later. Hey, I'm Andy. If you don't know me, it's probably because I'm not famous. But I did start a men's grooming company called Harry's. The idea for Harry's came out of a frustrating experience I had buying razor blades. Most brands were overpriced, overdesigned, and out of touch. At Harry's, our approach is simple. Here's our secret. We make sharp, durable blades and sell them at honest prices for as low as $2 each. We care about quality so much that we do some crazy things, like buy a world-class German blade factory. Obsessing over every detail means we're confident in offering a 100% quality guarantee. Millions of guys have already made the switch to Harry's, so thank you if you're one of them. And if you're not, we hope you give us a try with this special offer. 
Get a Harry starter set with a five blade razor, weighted handle, shave gel, and a travel cover. All for just three bucks plus free shipping. Just go to harrys.com and enter 8989 at checkout. That's harrys.com, code 8989. Enjoy. Did you see Joe Biden cuss that dude out today? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> we got to play the audio of it because it's so funny. He's so nonchalant about it, too. He's trying to be tough. Joe Biden is actually trying to be tough like Trump. So you're going to have two old ass white men. <laughs> Up there, literally arguing about nothing. All they're gonna do is tell each other business from seventy two. <laughs> <laughs> so listen to the audio. This guy has this well prepared speech that he's got written out, or somebody's texted it to him. It looks like, and he's reading it. These union workers that have been working countless hours under the Trump administration, I'd like you to explain how you plan to not only keep us working. About how you intend on getting the union vote when there is a large portion of the union workers that are gun enthusiasts and you are actively trying to diminish our Second Amendment right and take away our guns. You're for shit. All right, thank now, you. Now, no, no, shush. Shush. I support the Second Amendment. Did he say hush? Yeah, he, he goes, shush. shush. He goes, enough of this malarkey. <laughs> Well, why is the man talking about the union and talking about to take your gun rights away? It looked like a friend texted him and, hey, confront him on Second Amendment issues. And Joe was like, you're full of shit. I do support the Second Amendment. And so it was it was some Republican setting him up and he told him to fuck off. I said, fuck you, buddy. I don't understand when people say they taking away your second. This shit's not going anywhere. Ain't nobody I mean, going to be able to come into your house and take why your is shit. Some, why would anybody take your guns unless you stole your gun from your neighbor and it's not in your name? Yeah, all Nobody your shit's registered wants, anyway. But you need your guns. Everybody need their fucking guns. If what, what I think, what they what, do buyback programs, but you, no but, one is going to come to your house and take your. But who shit. the fuck want a world with no guns? I, I mean, personally, like these buyback programs and stuff. Who who sells their gun back? Nobody. You uh, well, 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 Janet people, Jackson did a buyback dumb, program one time. Yeah, dumb fucks and, like me. Yeah, but no. Well, we <laughs> got sold, stolen gun? guns. No. We took guns that, that other niggas shot niggas with and got the Janet Jackson concert tickets with. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she was doing a buyback program. Yeah, I remember hearing something And she was like, that. if you bring a gun, we ain't going to ask you where you got the motherfucking gun from. Just bring a gun and you get two Jan- Janet Jackson concert tickets. We like, nigga, give us them guns that you shot that nigga with that you been hiding for the park. <laughs> Did you really? What have you done for me lately? <laughs> <laughs> Hell, they ain't going to never find nothing there with all the other evidence. <laughs> Jesus, make you want to scream. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite like that, but if we got Janet Jackson concert tickets like that. I think you've told this story before. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was Michael Jackson ticket oh, when I was okay. on welfare. <laughs> well, he was Michael Jackson came to Amazon to get all the kids shots. And she came to buy back the gun. <laughs> what? <laughs> Amazon? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Chris. I don't, I'm genuinely, I don't know. What. Immunizations, Immunizations is what she was trying to say. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> vaccinations. Vaccination, motherfucker. I love you. Get all the kids vaccinated. And she was buying back gun. And both times I participated in that. <laughs> we get Janet Jackson concert tickets. And then I got the tickets and sold them. How much did you get for them? I don't remember. Did you steal a gun or did you have a gun? No, everybody had a gun. Yeah, I know. You shot a couple people. <laughs> Just my baby daddy. Well, you shot at a couple people. Just my baby daddy. Well, <laughs> you didn't shoot at that one nigga who was shooting at you? Yeah, but not that not as much as he shot me. <laughs> 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 yeah, I ain't know what the fuck I was doing. I don't shoot guns. Actually a fan was gonna take me to shoot a gun, but uh I didn't even go. I was tired. I had a lot of media in that city. Was it Oklahoma City? Or, or was it Baltimore? We was in Baltimore last week. Uh, uh, a couple of weeks back, he wanted to take me to Probably shoot. Oklahoma City. Then. And it was just so much. I had so much media. No one that was before Oklahoma City. I had like Lisa with it. It was Raleigh. Raleigh, okay. And I was like, dude, I'm tired as fuck. These motherfuckers done interviewed me to my asshole, fell inside out. <laughs> so I couldn't go. <laughs> Why did you just Would you want to go shoot guns, though? That That interests you? Um, I might. Uh, what I kind of gun sh- would you want to shoot? You want to do handguns? You want to do shotguns? Uh, I think I would like to do a handgun. I don't like the kickback on some of them big guns. 
That's how that little girl shot her instructor, instructor remember? Yeah, yeah. I've seen lots of videos where people weren't ready for the kickback, and they dropped a the gun. I'm, they, I've only fired a gun once because a friend took me shooting, and that's the only time I've fired a gun, and I think everybody should do it. Like, even if you're against guns, like, just go try it because it totally changed my perspective on all of it. Because, and, and like, the first time I fired it, I, I like shot it and it it, got, hard. it, it, <laughs> it got it got my little dick got real hard and then it kicked back and I was like, oh my gosh, Harry, look how big. And he's like, whoa, yeah, because yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, you wanted yeah. them nigga, Harry, <laughs> Harry, I shot the guy, Paul. What happened, Harry? <laughs> Why you got a hole in your head? Oh my god, I killed Harry. How the fuck am I gonna get home? Harry got the car keys in his shirt pocket. <laughs> <laughs> like why would Chris not just go in his shirt pocket? What? No. Ten minutes later, a bear come along and kill Chris. And that's how that's how he died. <laughs> what that the was, fuck? That one will have a Harry! Harry, I shot the guy! Pow! Harry! <laughs> now Harry did. You <laughs> stupid mother. Why does Chris sound like that in your mind? Because <laughs> he, he just looked like We it. should all go shoot guns and no, film it for the podcast. No, motherfucking thing. Ain't shoot no goddamn gun with nobody. Uh-uh. I'll bring Harry. <laughs> <laughs> you never tell me you saw a squirrel and shoot me in my ass. No, we go to the gun range. It's We're not so going out the... in the... Yeah, it's in Lord. You in have Beach to bring Grove. your own gun. No, you can rent guns from the place. Yeah. Oh no, I don't do you can. That. Do, you don't even have to do real bullets. You can shoot rubber bullets. It was fun. Oh, oh you no. know, rubber bill, bullets will still kill you if you got shot in the face. Poor. They will. <laughs> yeah. Well, you didn't hear about that? Um, it was a corrections officer. They were trying to break up a riot, and they had shotguns, with beanbags, and they killed a couple people shooting yeah. niggas in the back of the head. If you got yeah, because of concussions. How you gonna shoot a nigga in the back of the head? He was running. <laughs> shoot him in the back. It's a beanbag. It's a shotgun. It's a spread. So once the beanbag come out, it busts? Yeah. Damn. Motherfucker ain't safe with beanbags. Nah, you can get, there's a lots of ways to die. But I think we should go. I think it would be you really fun. remember that movie, A Thousand Ways to Die? I thought it was a TV show. It was a TV show. So I was watching that one night, right? And I, I, this was just, what great. I, just I, whenever you start a story, I'm like, this is gonna what, be awesome. was it? Was it real? And I, nev- this I never, never left was. my mind. So this lady liked to fuck, right? Like to fuck, love to fuck. Nice. And, and so, pretty white girl who was playing her. So she literally, her boyfriend wouldn't come and fuck her. So she went to the grocery store. She tried to get the little fruit guy to fuck her. But, you know, I guess he didn't want to fuck her on first night. So he's like, what the fuck wrong? They freaked me. So she went home and got a cucumber. She got a cucumber, and she stuck that cucumber in her pussy, and it hit a nerve, nigga, and she bled to death with all that dick hanging off of her, which was a cucumber. And I was like, "This, I didn't know cucumbers could kill us. That's a true story? It was on that Thousand, thousand ways, ways to, to die. die. I don't know if those stories are true or not, but I've, I've heard some fucked up shit like yeah. that before. It was so fucking crazy. You're not guaranteed to walk in your front door if you leave it earlier. Like you get, I've heard of people getting a fist fight, and then all of a sudden you hit the nose in the wrong way, and then you're dead. It's like people fucked up, dying fucked up. I saw one where a dude was like trying to get money from older women, so he was he would like go and get these older women. He would go on dates with them or whatever, and he would like make out with them and try to get them to pay for stuff. And he was doing it with this older lady, and he. He couldn't do it anymore, so he went to the bathroom, and he thought it was mouthwash, but it was her denture stuff, and he drank it, and it fucking like burned all his insides, and he died oh. on the, in the in her bathroom. See, I don't know if they be true or not, but I, I, I bet it is. It scared the shit out of me like, that you yeah. come in her pussy. <laughs> there are, I mean, I mean, fucking Elvis died on the toilet, so I'm I'm sure you could stab but your pussy with a cocaine. cucumber. Well, he had an aneurysm. That's what they say. They're not going to tell you Elvis Presley died of a drug overdose. How dare Why you? wouldn't they? They told us Prince did. He well, apparently it, had like. It was, 30, it was 75 years later and he was black. <laughs> Elvis has not been dead for 75 years, first of all. According to me, I was, I, I was born. <laughs> Have y'all seen the new Whitney Houston hologram? That shit look creepy. Really? No. And people are buying tickets to go see this bitch invisible in concert. I'm like, I can't do that. 
You should go. No, I'm not. I'm just going. skip that one song you hate so much. So Elvis had apparently not pooped in five to six months. They lie. And the coroner found over thirty five pounds of white chalky fecal matter in Elvis's colon at the time of his death. And he died on the toilet. What? He was found on the floor in front of the toilet. His colon during the autopsy was found to be five to six, six inches, which is double the normal size. And he still couldn't shit? He, nope. Because he was on so many opioids that it, he was taking so many pills that he couldn't poop. So he died from constipation? I think so. Like toxic shock syndrome. Cause of death. Let's look. I thought he died from a brain aneurysm from trying to push so hard. Well, yeah, nigga. All that shit connected together. One pop, That's what one I'm bang. Saying. That's what I'm saying. If you push too hard, you can. Have, that's what they say. Don't push too hard, you'll have an aneurysm. Was believed to be related to an overuse and overdose of prescription drugs combined with poor eating habits. So, yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, he had to keep that fat look up some kind of way. I always thought his music was terrible. My mama used to like Elvis. I never got into it. It was just. Well, you young. That doesn't mean anything. I like fucking Earth, Wind, and Fire. Well, Elvis was. <laughs> I'm just Elvis saying. Was great a, example. <laughs> I'm just Elvis saying. Elvis like, was a white earth, wind, and fire. No, he definitely was not. To some people, people love Elvis. They I'm still, not saying you can't love Elvis. I'm just saying I didn't love Elvis. I don't know. All I hear say, my mom used to say, my mom, my mom would say shit that I don't too much think she fucking read. Yeah, I know she, she wasn't an expert on anything. No, but she would say, I don't fuck with Elvis. He said a nigga can't do nothing but shine his shoes. And I was born in 72, and in the 80s, one no nigga shining no shoes. So I was like, what the fuck she mean shine his shoes? What she mean? <laughs> what? So she, this is what she used to walk around the house like when Elvis was big. I'm a fucking weird. Wasn't he big in the 50s? Yeah. yeah. But so when I, his music used to come on, and she used to say, "I don't fuck with ever. Uh, all he do is steal nigga music." And he said, um, "He said nigga can't do no but shine his shoes." The dude his that he stole his style from looked like Mr. T. I did see mm-hmm. that black dude who gave Elvis his style. The he home, gave Elvis, home, home, home. yeah, mm-hmm. like he wrote he, songs for Elvis and everything, and then Elvis would perform them. And he showed Elvis how to do it as a black dude. He was he went on David Letterman, I think. Hmm. <clears throat> Why the black dude didn't perform his goddamn set? He probably was. It was because it was nineteen fifty. Yeah, it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, you just so I think it's hard when like like now people hear the Beatles, for instance, and they go, Oh, that's kind of boring. But it's like at the time, Elvis or the Beatles, like these are pushing things. I get it, it's pop the, culture. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, you know, how now people go back and look at oh, Whitney Houston or Prince, you know, and they discover it for the first time. Yeah. When I remember the first time I heard Elvis, I go, why the fuck do people like this? Yeah. This is fucking terrible. And you can listen to Sam Cooke and it's like, it th- still th- sounds th- yeah. the greatest yeah. music. Otis you've Redding ever heard, sounds yeah. amazing, yeah. but fucking Elvis is sound like shit to me. Yeah. Well, y'all welcome to attack, attack Dion for that. They always tag me for something. So here's Whitney Houston. Uh huh. That's a hologram? That's creepy as fuck, bro. No, no. no. Yeah. That's hella creepy. Did you see that uh, video of the the hologram of Michael Jackson tripping Oprah? (laughs) They They don't kill Oprah with so many different people. That's wild. Isn't that wild how they read? And then that, you know what's gonna happen, right? They gonna work this bitch till the light bulbs go out. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear a nigga now talking about he got me too by a hologram. <laughs> no, you going She gonna go on concert. One whole side of her body gonna be out. <laughs> <laughs> she gonna be flickering like Millie Vanilli. <laughs> I bet in Las Vegas you'll just go to like some play and like you can sit there and then Whitney Houston comes out and then you know uh Tupac didn't they have Tupac and like I wonder what it'd be like to ask the hologram for a picture <laughs> <laughs> would she sign an autograph maybe it'd, that's cool don't hologram sad. me y'all don't do that shit I don't 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 do that don't it's hologram a lot of me. light bulbs Hmm? <laughs> Fuck you Hologram Dion That nigga don't need even One Christmas bulb I'll be a bright light it. From <laughs> No one Christmas bulb Is Dion Whole motherfucking body oh, oh, oh. I'm nigga. just guessing The estate of Miss Pat Is not going to be uh, Lending out your name Very much Unless it's very expensive Selling your likeness Yeah, yeah That'd be 
What, all right, let's say you, I, I let's say cut. you pass away and you're, you're don't the, say I pass away nigga. Like, oh. in, in fifty five years. Oh, okay. and you're the 95. Most, You've been the most famous comedian of all time. Mm-hmm. And Gary Ott is in charge of using your likeness, and and she licenses it out. Do you think would it would your family put your face on every T shirt like the Peanuts and Charlie Brown and Charlie Charles Schultz's family has done, or or do you they think they probably would? They probably work the dog shit out of me because you know Ashley got to have pussy money to eat, <laughs> <laughs> and Gary Ott got to have Uber Eats money, and Junebug got to have somebody get him some Vaseline and cocoa butter to play with himself, and that kid got them three ugly children he got to feed. So yeah, they gonna work the shit out of me from the grave. They, they they might each buy a hologram and have me on stage <laughs> telling jokes. And Miss Pat playing in four different parts of the country all, every, everywhere she goes. With the same jokes, probably with them dumb lazy <laughs> motherfuckers who ain't writing no new jokes for you. <laughs> Sorry, some bitches. I, you know, I can't I know. I, I think Gary Ott is pretty talented. I yeah. would like to have I got I, I wanna <laughs> no, have my I'd, shit together. I'd go I, see Nikea's though. <laughs> <laughs> this hologram would be the worst version of you. What's the deal with fruit? <laughs> You'd be facing the wrong way the whole goddamn time. <laughs> 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 yeah, you out there looking bad, Miss Pat. Don't let him hologram you. Ashley's would just be promos the whole time. And make sure you go to my Instagram, <laughs> join my Patreon. <laughs> mm-hmm. They'll be on work the shit out of me. I'm like, that's why I'm gonna have my shit in order. When I die, I want to have a video to cuss out everybody in my family and tell them they ain't shit and that we're gonna play them. Say, stop crying, bitch, because you want to cry when you stole my motherfucking money, old dirty ass dog ass bitch. And I, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna be talking at my own funeral. I'm like, Maypot, if you outlive me, God got this shit twisted, nigga. All that crack you smoke, and I'm motherfucking dead, and you still alive, bitch. You, we need to have a talk with Jesus at the last second. Up a nigga. Well, you'd be closer to him than her. You can go ask him what the fuck going right. on. Yep. And, and then uh, I'm gonna I'm have a conversation. I'm gonna talk about everybody from beggars to fucking daggers and dogs and my baby daddy. I'm gonna call his name. You dirty buck t ice skating, roller skating, no car, no driver license, no read, old waving that on Facebook ass nigga. Um, Why don't we just replay the podcast? <laughs> That would be good. I still can't get over the ice skating rink money. <laughs> Dion goes, well, it does make a difference if he's getting fucked or doing the fucking. <laughs> it was not. It was a price. Case. It's a huge price difference. <laughs> he still skate too, ugly motherfucker. I'm going to cuss him out. All the baby mamas, I'm cussing cuss out. How, how young out. is his youngest child? Do you know? Probably five. Five? Five. Who's still fucking this dude? He was married. He was married. 2015? Oh. He he got another bitch pregnant in 2015? Yeah, he got a five-year-old little boy. I got to start working at Jiffy Lube. <laughs> <laughs> Why? So you can make a baby? Just Yeah, this barely you get gets... sex if you work at Jiffy Lube. <laughs> what? Go to the skating ring, my nigga. <laughs> Talk to a 12-year-old. No, no, no. I'm not getting a dick in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't afford it. <laughs> Chris, I can't see nobody fucking your your uh, ginger ass or your albino ass. I bet you on your booty hole in like heaven. Wow, <laughs> that's not true. You remember the Punisher from Atlanta, who was the male dancer? I was so bad. You said his booty hole looked like heaven. <laughs> it's just white clouds everywhere. <laughs> what? White. I bet the hole into it is like super pink. You're just saying your butthole looks like heaven, Chris. <laughs> that is a fucked up compliment. I would disagree if I could. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, above the clouds. <laughs> it look like you're on a Delta flight. <laughs> first class. <laughs> now, I don't know about first class, nigga, but I can imagine your boot hole got these little red peppers of hell like you walking down a red big road on fucking, uh, what that shit Michael Jackson was on with down the, the road? Wiz. The Wiz. The Wiz. His asshole. Look, He's look. on now. He's on down the little road and the little red bricks going down the road and then you get that little dough real 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 pink because it been irritated because you don't never clean it right and everything else just white with little freckles if you get real close to it and a little short hair and it red waving back and forth and oh, I can smell it now <laughs> <laughs> and we gonna end with that <laughs> oh god I smell your boot <laughs> I'll see you in hell <laughs> Smell like peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of The Pat Down. Make sure you check out my website at misspatcomedy.com for all of my social media, my tour dates, my book. Make sure you spread the word about my podcast. Please rate and review. Please rate and review and share. Thank y'all so much, y'all. I've been Miss Pat.